Hi. How are you? Okay, well it is a dreary, gross day. Fortunately, it's not cold, but it's dreary and gross. Uh, we are here at the Goodwill, uh, local Goodwill. Didn't travel very far today, um, but I decided to stop in and see what I could find to buy and flip for a profit. So, here we go. All right, well the cart pickings are slim today. I tried the wonky cart and I just wasn't feeling it. So I've got the dirty Kleenex cart. EDA. In case you guys are wondering what happened to my finger, um, I really need to get my nails done. And I ended up bending off <laughs> my fingernail and it came off right at the center of the nail bed. It was really bad. It was really gross. Now I'm wearing a band-aid, so I'm saving all of you that grossness. Um, anyway, here's a picture for $2.99. <laughs> it's neat. It's vintage. Um, it looks like it's transfer. If it was hand painted, maybe I would consider it. Well, let's see what else we can find because we just got here. Looks like they are actively restocking. Thought maybe that was going to be a longer burger, but it is not. It's kind of a cute pattern. It's a shame there's only one of them. Jeanette Louisa. Only one of them has a saucer there. I saw something. There was a reason I came over here and now I'm like, wait, what was I thinking? Maybe I just imagined it. No, it was a clock. I'm losing my mind. I saw a Scooby-Doo clock. <laughs> Hold on a second. Okay, I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm like, I've totally lost my mind. I know I saw it. The whole reason I came over to this aisle. Oh gosh, what is the date on this? Hanna Barber. I mean, that's kind of fun. I wonder if it glows. It's got a little Scooby Doo feed. Four dollars and ninety nine cents. All right, I'll stick it in there with my dirty Kleenex. Those things are crazy. They look old, but it's marked house parts. <laughs> These are parts for your house. I like the pattern on that. Royal Norfolk. Is that the one that's sold at Dollar General? I mean, I'm oddly attracted to things that are sold at Dollar General. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I like that pattern. These are fun too with the Eiffel Tower. 222 fifth. I'm sitting in winter. Those have some age to them. They are all chipped up on the side. <laughs> this grill is adorable. I just did a house tour with Jess and Jesse this morning, and JoJo, their daughter, has a um, kitchen. This would be really fun for the summertime out on the porch for her to have like a little grill, but summer is a long ways away, so we're gonna pass on that now trying to think because by the time you're seeing this video I feel like Christmas is either happening or over <laughs> so I don't know if it's really worth picking up any Christmas in any more of my videos because I'm so far ahead this looks like Mikasa $6.99 on that look at these snowman balls <laughs> look at these New creative. Hmm. I like that shoe. It's a neat shoe. Here I am still looking at Christmas though. <laughs> this looks like a... I just listed a Santa Claus uh, this past Tuesday and it's very similar to this one. I think it was June McKenna was the name on that one that I listed. Very sweet. Ooh, check out Patriotic Santa Claus. <laughs> I hate to admit this, but at first I thought that was his middle finger and I'm like, what is happening right now? But no, he's completely kosher. It's kosher, Patriotic Santa. That looks like 
looks like it could be Pearl China, $2.99 on that. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a very high resale value. Looks like this guy's still here. I think that's M.A. Hadley. I like the glaze on those. All right, well, we're not finding much here today. Gosh, it's kind of silly, but I'm tempted to buy all these pens. <laughs> There's always a pen shortage in our house, and I have no idea where they go to. I see a candlestick hold. No, it's not a candlestick. Darn it, I thought it was a candlestick holder. Oh my goodness, look at the eyeballs. <laughs> Gosh. I wish I had eyelashes like that. I'm a little jealous. Ooh, fancy. Santa's got the eyelash extensions. It's got some serious wear on it. They have $9.99 on that. If I recall, that one's only worth like 18 I think. I don't think those are worth very much, especially with the wear on them. Snow glow. $4.99 on the birds. Are those Homeco? Can't remember who makes these ones. There's a pair of them. It's like mid century in style. A little baby doll in there. Anyway, I'm gonna grab these. Alright, so they have a few cards out here. It looks like they've been sitting out for a while though, so I'm not really all that optimistic about finding anything. There's probably been a few people through these cards. But it's always worth looking, right? These are neat. Looks like somebody had those in their antique mall. Hmm, kind of cool, but I don't know. Alright, I like that thing in the bottom. I think it's made in Italy, possibly. Whatever that is. It's massive. Massive pottery. Yeah. And it's signed. something. I don't know. Maybe I should step and something. I'm going to try to get that out, but I'm going to turn off my camera so I don't break anything. Well, shoot. I just grabbed that and turned it over <laughs> to set it down. And look at how beautiful that is. That's stunning. Nairn pottery, hand thrown in Nairn Scotland. Oh, we've got a, mm -hmm. a crack. That might be a little crack. Am I willing to forgive it? I don't know. I'll decide later. I'll stick it in here. And I'll show you some of the other stuff I picked up while I was chit-chatting. And we're not quite there yet. All right, I'm going to turn it off and pull it out. Okay, I'm going to use the word. I'm going to call it anticlimactic. Um, it actually says color me mine on the back. So it's one of those mm -hmm. um, hobbyist paint your own ceramic projects. There is a cow creamer down there, but he's not. He's just white. He's not anything exciting so all right let's keep looking all right well that lady is giving her friend a pep talk on the phone but she's doing so very loudly so i scooted across to the store not seeing much in there if you heard adler hmm. an adler new york new york interesting 6.99 do we want to look those up? Maybe we do. We'll stick them in here. If they're nothing, we'll put them back where they go and save them having to make the trip. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's a shame that one lamp has a giant crack in the back of it. All right, do a quick peek through the artwork. That was here the other day. That was here the other day. I don't think it had matting the other day, though, so it's been improved upon. Okay. Heroes poster. That's kind of neat. Zebra poster. There we go. <laughs> There's a llama. That matches the art that was in JoJo's room. That is hand painted. I think that is a mass-produced piece. 
Part of the reason I know that is because that artist that bought that amazing mid-century uh, painting the other week was just in here. And I feel like if that was something good, he probably would have grabbed it. Made in China. <laughs> kind of looks like it may have had a slip of glaze, but obviously not. Those are spray painted. <laughs> oh, and there's candles inside. All right. Okay, well, I'm gonna take you guys over here and we're gonna look up Kurt Adler. Here we go. So apparently, some Kurt Adler, specifically Disney, is worthwhile. Nightmare Before Christmas mouse. Ooh, oh, that's Steinbach. Oh, wait, <laughs> what? Kurt Adler Steinbach. I'm confused. Is it Steinbach or is it Kurt Adler or are they one and the same? I don't know. Alright, this is like on a rocking horse. Maybe I have to add that to the keywords. Let's try it. Alright, so I added a horse. Nordic rocking horse. So here are two. This one is only six inches tall, though. I feel like this is, oh, well, it is. It's 10 inches. So here's one that's sold for $35. Mm -hmm. And they say nine inches tall. So that's probably this one. So it sells for $35. This one is in the box. And I don't recall how much they had. $6.99. Yeah, you know what? I think that's probably worth it. So we'll grab both of those for $6.99. And I'll show you some of the other things I stuck in here when I wasn't filming, because for some reason today I'm just, <laughs> I'm not filming. Um, this was pretty neat. It's a pear. Although I'm realizing that it may have been on a stick. It does stand though. It's a crow. Kind of primitive looking. So I like that. How much was it? $2.99 on that. Um, oh, uh, Nick, who works here, had shown me this platter down here. It's great for Thanksgiving. I'm kind of on the fence about it, though. I don't know. By the time you're seeing this video, it's Christmas. So I think I may be a little bit late for the Thanksgiving. Play. I might put it back. If it was Thanksgiving time, I might grab it. These are Pier 1. P1 on the bottom. $1.99 on those. Let me grab this snow globe because I thought it was neat and I haven't actually looked it up yet. It's Department 56. I don't know. It's like a Christmas tree with little present babies. <laughs> it's a little creepy, but I like it. Okay. Well, I searched Department 56 snow globe, highest to lowest. The highest one is this thing, 161. And then Disney. <laughs> that seems to be the common theme. Maybe I need to start picking up Disney more often. Um, there's the Grinch, Stitch, Nightmare Before Christmas, Elsa. All right. I don't know, we're getting pretty far down there. Too far down to justify my fear of shipping the snow globe. So I think I'm gonna put that one back. Okay, I've placed it back. I don't know. I just think if it was closer to Thanksgiving, maybe I like it. It's a nice Thanksgiving piece, but um, I don't know if I want to continue to store stuff for the holidays till the next holiday. I want to get away from doing that. I do that too often. These are kind of neat. It's a shame that this guy's missing his nose. Hi, how are you? Oh, <laughs> never mind. It's very pretty though. Wow, that's heavy. It's crazy heavy. Wow, looks like somebody donated grandma's entire set of china. Who makes it? Oh, it's Rosenthal Pompadour. Yikes. I 
wonder how much it's worth. I'm gonna look it up and then I might be buying some china today. I'm so incredibly tempted to just load my cart with this stuff. I mean, if I was to sell it though, I could not sell it as I said. I would have to split it up. There's no way we would ship all of that. <laughs> that would be crazy. Then a part of me is like, well, maybe I should just grab a couple of the, um, a couple pieces of it. But then I'm also like, do you really need this? Probably not. Oh my gosh. It's kind of like leaving money on the shelf, you know what I mean? <laughs> I struggle with that. Decisions, decisions. Maybe I'll take... I'm going to take part of it. I'm going to split up the set. I know a lot of you in the comments are probably not going to be happy about that. But I think I'm going to split it up. I'm going to take the coffee pot. I'm going to take some of the um, cups. Maybe all the cups. The creamer and the sugar. And if they had dessert plates, I'd take those too. But they don't. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm sorry for all of you that are cringing right now. Okay, did I just roll out a fresh cart? Maybe I'll take a peek. Doesn't look like much oh, in there. Ooh. Well, that cart was anticlimactic, so I'm back here. <laughs> I'm looking again. Um, I have all of the cups and saucers. I have the coffee pot, the creamer, the sugar, and um, for some reason the creamer is paired with this under plate, which is kind of silly. Uh, debating whether I want any of the others, but I don't know. I was thinking that maybe I wanted um, one of the serving platters, but it comes with like, they're all stuck together. Because <laughs> I thought if you were having coffee and you were having, you know, well, if you were having coffee and you wanted like a plate of cookies or something or biscuits. <laughs> You would want a serving tray, but I'm like, I don't know if you want. Do you want three of them? No, you only want one. Um, okay, I'll take the whole stack. I feel like when all this is said and done, I'm probably gonna end up with the whole set. No, I think that's it for me. I think I'm good. Okay, well, I think this is my last stop at the purses. <sighs> Do we see any lounge fly? No, here's a cigar. I think that's just me to look like a cigar box. The best cigar. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna have to find something to um, bring all of this out. <laughs> I'll grab that suitcase. I gotta go find like a, a tote or something. Okay, well our total spend there at the Goodwill today was $99. I feel like a big chunk of that was probably the china that I bought. Um, that coffee set, it kind of adds up once you get <laughs> teacup, teacup, teacup you bought um, but I'm really I'm really pleased with that. I do regret a little bit breaking up the set but there was no way I could buy it all. I couldn't buy it. I mean, I could have, but just thinking about transporting it and selling it, I couldn't have sold it as a set. I don't think it would have been feasible to ship all of that um, in one box. So I just, it was easier. It's easier to do it this way. So I'm gonna head down the road now. I'm gonna head up Antiques Marketplace of Lemoyne. Um, see what I can find there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. I know it's nothing new. It's so good to see you